everything they got Hear every sound this here in town I can Hey YouTube, Gadget and Greybeard here from Just Go Backpacking. Just want to give you a quick uh, review of the packs that we both use, both being the ULA Ohm 2.0, mine in the Multicam, his in the Green Rubric, I believe it is called. Yeah, this is the more classic, probably the one you see most often. This one here is two ounces heavier with this uh, material. It is. Feels about the same durability. I just kind of have everything in camo, so that's the only reason for it. Other than that, the packs are pretty much identical. I know that his uses a yellow cordage, where mine uses a black here, and a couple of the little things. But other than that, they are the identical pack. So I think a couple of the things that I like most about these is they have huge uh, pockets on the outside. You can easily put two smart water bottles in each of these. You can put your tent in here. I use it, uh, you, typically I put this up on the top, but uh, where we are today, we don't have as many water bottles, but um, there's plenty of room in these pockets to put a lot of material in. Um, and then these compression straps, which may look like they're um, the shock cord, but they're actually rigid cord, and these will crank it down pretty good. So typically I'll put my, um, my tent on the outside portion and my water on the opposite side. Uh, the beauty of these two, I think, and Gadget can show you, is it's pretty easy to get your water in and out of this uh, pack while you're on the go. <coughs> Additionally, if you can show them the, uh, the holders in the front straps. They have two front access holders here that just kind of held in with shock cord, but uh, really convenient for when you don't want to reach back there. Or, let's say you have your tent and your other stuff that's uh, drying out. Maybe if you had a wet night, you want to keep that on the outside. It is a nice option just to be able to grab the, uh, the smart water bottles. Now, it holds very nicely on this size. Uh, I tried out the one and a half liters this weekend, and that's pushing it a little bit, as is the shakeage, I guess. We'll uh, make up that verb to use for our video uh, of it shaking back and forth. But for this size, it's not that bad, not too noticeable. They also have two thumb loop handles, which I've removed for weight just because I don't really use them. Um, you can see the pouches on the front. Pouches are really large. You can get really a Really good lot. size. I mean, I have two tuna packets and uh, like four trail bars in this one. And I still would have room for, uh, for more in there. On the other side here, we have slightly smaller packet, but... Uh, I still have like three three trail bars in there so the pack is is really light it's um, I don't know if technically they call it a frameless or a frame pack because the frame that's in it is a pretty thin I'm not sure we'll be able to show you but it's a pretty thin foam pad that's actually removable if you want to go even lighter and have it completely frameless but it's it's a it's a rigid foam it's it's relatively thin and then the top, there's no brain like you would see on the Osprey or the Gregory packs we were using before. And so the, the way this works is it just opens like a big sack. There is inside a spot for a hydration bladder if you want it. And there's also a small pouch. That's about it. There's not a lot of pockets in here, but there is one pouch they can use for quick items. You know, your toilet items, your first aid kit, things you're gonna use a lot. And then when you're ready to uh, you know, to put the pack away, you can just roll it up like this, and you can you can use your your Z seat or your or your Thermarest uh, sleeping pad on the top, which will give you a little protection from the elements there. Um, a piece I use a lot, especially on multi-day trips. By the end of the trip, it seems like everything I own is in here. This holds a lot. Uh, there's a lot of storage space in this stretchy pouch here. Um, so this is usually has my trash and my water filter and a lot of things I want to be able to get at quick and like I said by the end of a multi-day trip this thing is, is loaded. It's also a good place to put anything you want to dry out a little bit. As you can see a lot of hip padding on these packs and the other nice thing if you are not aware I know a lot of uh, through hikers have gone through the thing where they shed a lot of pounds and a lot of waist inches really quick. These 
tip belts are actually replaceable. You unvelcro that, it pops out. You can call ULA if you've uh, lost a lot of weight and get the next size down. And their customer service is unbelievable. They normally get these things out really, really quick. Um, it comes in two different options on the shoulder straps. I want to say these are the J straps. It also comes in, oh, these are actually the S straps. It also comes in a J strap for a different frame, which I believe is what Greybeard has there. You can see just a slight uh, different shape to them for different size torsos. Um, just personal preference, I guess. Another feature that I like that I didn't have on my previous pack is the ability to fine tune the waist pack. So it actually has two areas that you can increase the tension. So when you get it in place, you can fine tune it because you have straps on the top and you have straps on the bottom here that allow you to fine tune it. So you can, you can really, on the wide belt, you can get each part of the belt exactly like it. It's very comfortable. The, this pack is going to max out at about 30 pounds. So if you can't get your weight with food and water, uh, 30 pounds or under, you're going to have some struggles with this um, as far as comfort because it's really not designed for anything more than that. But at 30 pounds or under, I think I've probably had it in the mid-20s. You can't even feel the thing on it. It's extremely, extremely comfortable. Absolutely. I think these packs are worth every every penny. Things uh, stuff you can just keep stuffing stuff into it. Uh, I have a lot of ultralight ham hammock camping stuff. If you can see the size of this pack right now, this is currently holding three full sleep systems because we're out here doing a review. So if you can imagine that, it's got full hammock gear, full uh, tent in it. So holds incredible amount of stuff. No shifting on the back. Holds in really nicely, carries the load incredibly. So Ohm, ULA Ohm 2.0. The in the in the green black combo, it's 34, 34 ounces. 34 ounces. And in the camo, adds two ounces, makes it come in at about 36 ounces. Yeah. And um, I think we we got these six months, eight months ago. About that. Um, so this is uh, February of 17 and they were running 210. 210. Uh, 210. The shipping is great. Their customer service is great. Um, it's a great company to deal with. And there's a lot of videos on how to get them tuned in. And these guys, if you call them in the drop of a hat, they'll help you out. So highly recommended by the guys from uh, Just Go Backpacking. Absolutely. Get out and get one <laughs> and get on the trail and just go backpacking. Wall, two, a wall.